Okay, let's have a look at the additions to 3D printing in SOLIDWORKS 2016. With Windows 8.1 and onwards, we've had the ability to install 3D printer drivers onto our systems. Now, if we do that, we can print 3D directly from SOLIDWORKS. This brings up this window, and we can then just choose what 3D printer model we want to use from our drop down here. Now, we have to define where the bottom plane of the model is, so that's the print bed location. And then when we do that, we see um, a transparent cube which represents the printable volume of our 3D printer. Now it's possible for us in here to rotate our model around or shift it from forward to back or left to right. We have a new option called Orient to Fit, which just chooses the best possible orientation for our model. We also now have the option to scale our model within this environment and we can actually scale that to fit so it will just make the biggest possible model within the print volume. If we move to the preview tab it's now possible for us to show faces that require support. Um, so faces that do not require support will be shown as yellow, faces that do require support will be shown as green. And if we just spin the model round we can see through underneath to see where those faces are. Now they can be quite hard to we have the option to show the non-supported faces as transparent so we can see through and see the green faces. We also have the option to show striation lines so when you print a 3D part or print it as a series of beads and you will see those beads on the model. These are called striation lines and if I turn them on we can represent them as a sort of zebra stripe effect or alternatively we can show them as a, a bump map um, a supported graphics card is required to do that we can change the striation size as well so we can have it quite dense quite coarse so just to summarize what we've seen there we can identify services need in support we can change our model scale we can reorientate the model to fit the print volume and we can display striation lines. Now move to Ed for drawings.